r slash ask reddit what unexpected thing became popular out of nowhere free to play games if i worked in the video game industry and some guy told me the business plan is to have the game free and we will make money with people buying skins i would have laughed in his face that's a good one that's why it's good to chance things. It's funny that these games make money because I would never buy a skin in a game but I think people are more willing because it's free. Those purchases build up over time equals profit. $5 per month per player in free to play clash of clans if you want to be faster than the rest. Flipping a bottle of water to make it land right side up. That is a weird one. It's addictive as hell. I can vouch for it but looking back. Most random phenomenon in years. Among Us. I was so surprised to learn the game is 2 years old. It came out of nowhere and exploded in popularity. I was sure it was a brand new release so glad for it though. Watching Among Us streams is most fun I had with video games without actually playing them. And I watch a lot of esports. IKR. Everyone's enjoying Fall Guys. I turn away for one second and suddenly everyone's making imposter jokes and I'm like WTF. It's like missing a day at work or school. Life changes completely lol. Those tiny hand sized skateboards that people would do tricks with their fingers and stuff. I don't see them now but they were huge when I was in middle school. Also silly bands. Tech decks or finger skateboards. My ex got back into fingerboards when we were together 2 years ago. He would research and buy the most expensive ones that he found online and then he took my dresser apart to make a mini skate park for them. I wasn't happy. Fidget spinners some time back were extremely popular for no reason. Somewhere out there is a storage unit with a pallet of fidget spinners sitting next to some others. Beanie babies, hogs, cabbage patch kids and pet rocks. The owner looks on sadly but with some hope. Someday, he keeps telling himself. I'm doing that with my original Pokemon card sets. I have almost the complete collection of the first gen cards and all but a few are in great condition since I was one careful kid. Still wondering if now's a good time to sell or not. I really don't even look at them anymore and need money more than I need random crap. But do I know they won't be worth more in another 10 years when said cards are even more scarce than now. I asked some 9 year old what Thrasher was on her sweatshirt. My favorite band. Oh Jesus. PFF. What a poser. Timberland work boots. I walked into a store one day to purchase a new pair of yellow boots and come to find out they're all overpriced designer fashion now. Apparently they're still good to use as work boots but I'm not that interested in paying the trend premium. Ah. Kids. They've been a fashion statement since forever. I bought a pair in 1992, the year I started university. They were okay. They lasted years. But I don't remember what happened to mine. I remember Polly Pockets were really popular when I was a little kid. Everyone had at least one. And then suddenly they just vanished. Recently I did see some commercials for them though. Also, those weird little squishy animals that were in the plastic balls. Me and my friends loved those things. But they also disappeared and I don't even remember what they were called. Also, lol dolls are super popular for no reason now. My little cousin is obsessed with them. Oof, I loved PP. Back when she was actually pocket choking hazard size. LOL dolls just make me angry. Blind chance toys like that is like gambling for kids and I feel promotes an addictive cycle. Same as random loot crates purchased via microtransactions in games. You should be able to know what you are about to get and decide if you want to put money down on it. Not pay and hope. Then have to pay again because you didn't get the one you wanted. People hoarding toilet paper is probably the highlight of 2020. I think round 2 just started where I live, went to Costco. People were running to the back of the store. I wasn't sure what was happening till I saw everyone had TP in their carts. Then later on while finishing my shopping I noticed ever cart in the store had TP. Going gluten free. Gluten is not bad for you unless you have celiac disease or are sensitive to it. In fact. By avoiding gluten, it could set you up for some nutritional deficiencies. This, it makes it much harder for people who actually have celiac to be taken seriously. Yo-yos. When I was around 11 stroke 12-ish they suddenly became the thing to have. 
The more ball bearings and flashy lights the better. If you could do more than one trick you were god of the playground. I also remember them getting banned in school. Yo yos, no pun, have bounced in and out of trendiness since the 20s. That catch me outside how about that girl? Bad baby, it's actually infuriating to me that that girl has more money than I'll probably ever make. And that name, cue my eye roll. Yeah you can thank Dr. Phil's dumbass for that one. It's more fun if you pronounce it bod bobby like I do in my head. Pet rocks. In Elder Scrolls Online you can get pets for your character that follow you around. Come the 1st of April, pet rocks are available. They have no animations. They just sit there. They don't even follow you like other pets do, but linger anywhere too long. And you may notice that there's a rock behind you. Always the same rock, just sitting there nearby. Like it needs to be close to you. Like it will never let you go. Tiger King. That one's easy to explain. We just started quarantine and it was some of the only new content. Everyone had the time to binge it. TikTok. Zoom. It's weird Skype is more a verb than a company now. Not surprising. Skype has barely been usable since 2010 to 2011. It's an accomplishment in incompetence. Flat Earth. People embracing it and people making fun of it. The Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe. Portland, Oregon. When I grew up, I had to explain to people outside of the west coast where Oregon even was or how to pronounce it. Everyone said Oregon. Now Portland is a minor hipster mecca and a political lightning rod. My friend and I became interested in Oregon in second grade. It was close to the ocean. It had lots of forest land. And it was, we were pretty sure, the location of the Salem Witch Trials. The Universe. In the beginning the universe was created. This had made many people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. Douglas Adams. Poop. Why is poop part of Suru Mena children's toys? I have seen all different colored plushies of that stupid poop emoji. I've also seen the poop emoji on children's clothes and backpacks colon. It's more than emoji. It's a theme. There is an entire line of toys called Poopsie. There are toys where the entire point of the toy is to clean up cat and dog poop. There's just so much poop. Baby Shark. Hogs. Gangnam Style. How many people said among us? A lot. Uncle Rojo egg fried rice videos. So WTF but so funny. It's just a character that the guy plays. He also does a few videos out of character and I enjoy them. Can't blame him. He got a viral video blown up and is capitalizing on the success. I hope he will branch out and do more. He's funny but that one trick will eventually get old. Beanie Babies. One day life is normal. The next day they're everywhere. And people are brawling for specific ones. 50 Shades of Grey. It's ducking trash. Slime. A goji booga like mass. That makes you feel relaxed. Frozen. Who really expected that film to blow up like that? Planking. I had a whole album on FB dedicated to me laying face down in random places lmao. Zoom. So many other video call chat services out there. But as soon as quarantine starts everyone is using Zoom. Which I've never heard of beforehand. It works shockingly better than most video conferencing systems out there. Like Skype has been a thing forever and it's still bloated and terrible. The Tide Pod Challenge. Embarrassing. Champion and Tommy Hill Fighter. I remember when I was growing up there and Champion were some of the cheaper and uglier clothes my parents bought me. But now they are super popular and I have to say that I like what they have now. The misunderstanding of the words authoritarian and fascism. Or anti-fascist for that matter. K-pop, in America. Nobody here really pays any attention to foreign music of any kind. Then side drops Gangnam Style and suddenly Korean boy bands are out selling domestic artists in a country whose audience doesn't even speak the language they're singing in. Timothée Chalamet. Currently, roller skirts. The quad type with four wheels. Back in the early 2000s it was Scooby Strings. Those skinny rubber strings you could plait and weave to make cool clearing. Myself and my friends would even be walking while making them. Silly bands. Pokemon Go. Whoa, 
you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.